Organic heirloom apples, in fact, all the heirloom apples, in fact, every apple is finished. Got to do that again. <laughs> Welcome back to Baldor News for the Farm. I'm Patrick Ahern. The transition from Salinas in California down to Yuma, Arizona is just about complete and really, really smooth going this year. Also, offshore melons coming in, the honeydews are nice, the cantaloupes will need another week or two to get the bricks up, but they are getting there. Bad news, heirloom apples from upstate and Vermont, just about finished, as are the organic honey crisp and gala wrapping up. But we do have some good stuff to focus on, so stay tuned. First up, from TNA, we've got this beautiful artisan lettuce, the different varieties. We've got green oak, we've got some red oak, got some tango, got some gems. This comes in both red and green. They're all pretty sharp, they stand up on the plate. Out of this box, you make about eight appetizers or four main salads. Good thing about this, if you're catering, you put it out there, holds the dressing very well, doesn't wilt too easily. They've all got different flavors. The tango is a little bit bitter, more like frisee. The other ones are nice and sweet. All together makes a wonderful salad. Next up, the matsutake, loved by the Japanese, also the Chinese and the Koreans use this a lot. They grow in North America, <coughs> mostly under pine trees, but quite often under a fir. Some people call these a pine mushroom because in Japan they mostly just grow under the red pines only. When you're using these, try to keep the aroma. They do have a nice spicy flavor, but you want to keep the aroma, so you need to cook them gently. Cut them into big slices, not too thin. Don't even wash them, just dust off the dirt. Steam them or fry them, put them in some rice. Basically, they should be king of the plate and not left to the side. How do you make an Andrew pear even better? You precondition it. How do you do that? Put it in a special box with vents, stack it neatly, Bring up the heat, add the ethylene, the ethylene will change the starch into sugar, then cut the heat, cool it down super quick, hold it just as it is. These things look as hard as a rock, but trust me, they're soft, they're aromatic, they taste delicious. The only thing is you've got to be really careful with them, keep them in a box, look after them carefully. They will hold for a long time, but they are ripe. You can tell by just pushing at the top, it's got a little give, and boy are they sweet. And every day or every other day out of Florida, we have beautiful tomatoes come in and also just loaded the first of the Florida strawberries and by the end of next week we should be into the stem berries, ready for those Christmas parties. What else is coming in tomorrow? We've got the mini me's, those beautiful little pearls. They may be small, but boy are they sweet. And also Etrog citrus coming in. Check out Baldor's winter menu guide. Go to baldorfood.com where you see a whole plethora of ideas for your winter menus. Thanks for joining us at Baldor News for the Farm. We hope to see you again next week. Check out our winter menu at Baldor News from the Farm. Ah! <laughs> Alright.